very few people realize how easily children today are taken away from their parents with no show of wrongdoing and no cause. In other words, the government can simply confiscate your children for reasons that have nothing to do with their health or safety or wishes or well-being. There are currently more than one million active post-divorce cases in the child support system. Four million of our fellow citizens are currently living under the tyranny of the friend of the court. Forty percent of the entire population of Michigan. The state of Michigan is in a state of crisis. The seeds of this crisis were sown more than 35 years ago. First, with the passage of the Child Custody Act of 1970, and then with the enactment of the No-Fault Divorce Law of 1971. These two laws created a system in Michigan that delivered a one-two punch to Michigan families. The bias in this system is to break apart a family, and this has been the result. There are currently more than one million active post-divorce cases in the child support system. Four million of our fellow citizens are currently living under the tyranny of the friend of the court. Forty percent of the entire population of Michigan. Many millions more have been put through the divorce grist mill in the last three and a half decades. The legacy for our children of all these fatherless broken homes is truancy and a skyrocketing dropout rate. The friend of the court has become one of our state's biggest industries. It currently transfers more than $1.38 billion per year after taking its percentage off the top. I will rely on parents, not judges or friend of the court bureaucrats, to decide what's in the best interests of their children. People say that uh, people accuse fathers of wanting uh, joint custody to impact their uh, child support obligation. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the, the opposite is never applied. The reality is, is that you can't have a substantive relationship uh, with your with your child on an abbreviated basis, but but the reality is is that uh, quantity of time has a quality all of its own that is missing when you're relegated to a few overnights a month. And alternating weekends is what four overnights a month, uh, which is a really non-existing relationship. It's not a formal relationship. It is relegating a parent to an uncle uh, or a similar type of relationship. I am Kimberly Street, the daughter of fallen hero Wilbur Street. I am a child whose father was ripped out of my life by the family court systems. I was kept away from him from the time I was in high school. When I finally turned 18 and was able to see him with no restrictions, he died a month later. I'm out here now picking up the torch from where he left off. And I'm not going to let his death go in vain.